Greetings to you all and welcome back to Let's Play Boss Song with me, Otega Omega, and my constantly depleting forces. We are ready to attack the castle of Dalsis. Let's have a quick read. The battle is just about to begin, but it damn well isn't going to begin here. Our mission is to get to the centre of the castle. You can see that in the centre of the screen, in the centre of the image that has appeared. Also in the centre of the screen. That's our target. But if you think we're leaving without killing every single person in this map, oh, you don't know me. We have been joined by the mighty Duke Carleone, a level 9 fighter. A bit... The past is best here. The time of fighters is long since past. But welcome to the team, we shall make a man out of you yet. There was a bit of water, but there wasn't much. Tell you what, Tyberon, you just go without. There's a good chap. Now, we did get a new item from the last... Scarret one, anything? Nah. That'll do. We got a new item. We got the wand. As you can imagine, it's just going straight to Mina. It doesn't have to go to Mina. It could realistically go to Garrett as well. But... Yeah, I, I like it this way. Carlyon needs all the help he can get, let's be honest here. The wand makes it so that your magical spells do an extra point of damage, and, and I think it makes your healing spells heal an extra point of health. I think. Don't quote me on that. So as soon as we approached this castle, and then immediately flanked out to all four corners and decided to attack from every direction at once. An interesting plan that separates our forces, rather than concentrating our attack. Not the best strat I've ever seen. Also, two people are dead, which means one corner is going to be completely absent. Or do I send one person just solo? Mm -hmm. I don't have two people capable enough to do that. Well, uh, Boyard, you can go at the front. It's going to be a long time to get there. At the front, because your horses are going to be damn slow. But I have faith in your horses. Who doesn't have units? Garrett doesn't have units. And Tyberon. Tyberon, come back you up. On the other side, we have... Carleon. And he's going to be backed up by... Well, he's going to struggle the most, so he can have... Our healer. Now, top left or bottom right? Choices. Looks like there's more room bottom right. We'll go there. Forces led by Sabra. Backed up by Garrett. My two most powerful commanders, theory. Not in practice. That's a lot of Grand Knights. It would appear the centre of the castle is a well. Is Garrett implying that once we get to the centre, we can get to the... I don't know. We can go upstairs, or to possibly downstairs, to find Pytheon. Is he inside the well? Alright, that's the plan. We don't have good plans here, but we have plans nonetheless. Garrett's a bit non-conventional, he's not taking the intended route. He's just going to scale the walls. Interestingly, although we are obviously inside a castle, this choice of terrain, which I think they made to look a bit like carpet, is the outside dirt tile. You can see in the bottom left a dirt track with trees behind it. And whilst that is going to look pretty silly in combat, because you're going to see outside, it does mean my horses move fast, because it thinks we're outside. So that's nice. These walls, with the fancy blue padding, are unscalable. I was just thinking if Tyberon could swing around from a different angle. Yes, that is indeed an enemy unit. The best Tyberon can do is cut to here, and then, I don't know, sit on the well. Tyberon's just going to have to heave himself through the castle, I think. Oh yeah, that's not bad. 
That was a good corner. A lot of forces in the top right, but what can you do? Carleon needs help. Now, if you're wondering why the game bothers giving you a, a first-class unit this late into the game, as a fighter, which is has awful units and is very vulnerable to basically any attack, that Grand Knight could just one-shot me. Make no mistake. It's just so that you have the choice to progress him wherever you like. So they start him at level 9 of first class, so he'll very quickly get his class change. And then you can go whichever direction you like. Why are my horsemen struggling so much? I mean, okay, they're trading one for one, which I guess is alright, but I'd like at least one guy to survive. It would appear this is a fantasy of mine, which will never come true. Promote those men. These defensive commanders are very aggressive. I like the way I put the two people riding beasts together in the bottom left. It's good. It looks planned, but it wasn't. Alright, enough man. Good lord. Archers against soldiers is going to go very poorly. This really is going to be Separate and Garrett versus all. That's a pretty good effort. Uh, the bonuses of a Grand Knight make his soldiers a lot better than mine. Unexpected. The Duke proving his worth. Can he make it two for two? Nearly. What a competent fighter. Literally fighter. And the guy on the top left just sits there and waits his turn. Someone will come from this direction eventually, I'm sure of it. I was ordered to defend this entrance, and by god I'm going to defend it. This side is a mess. This side is a bloodbath. You're a hulking monstrosity up here. There are people who dislike Tyberon because he's all aquatic. And there's not water in every mission. To them I say... Bar Humbug. Tyberon's amazing. My little ponies are struggling to get in here. Here we go. Level 5, that means our spells have improved. What spells? No spells. But our sphere of influence gets bigger by one. That's nice. Especially with a unit like Horsemen that have a lot of mobility. Sapra, I would like to feed you all this experience, but realistically your archers are not going to manage to kill anything. I'm weighing up if I should just hold the archers back somewhere. And just let Sabra and Garrett do it. You know what? Okay, this guy's dead. But other than that... You tell him, Garrett. I think this is the best way of doing this. It's okay, the archers won't go to waste. Because in the middle, guarding the penny fountain here, we've got some guy with some archers. So we'll have some archer on archer action later. Look forward to that.
Duke Carleone has no need for treating. He has need for class change. Which way is he going to go? He's going to become a lord, because lord is the better class. If you're wondering why I prefer lord so much, I think that archers are better than horsemen, and lord gets a heal spell, which is really good in a pinch. And having things that are good in a pinch is important, because in a pinch you might lose a commander, a general, and that's permanent. So having stuff that in an emergency will keep you alive is very good. I don't know what happened to all the efficiency. Since we classed up and our units got stronger, our units have got a lot weaker. Taking all bets on reinforcements arriving for the enemy, and those reinforcements being Leon and his horsemen. Hopefully they come from bottom right, because we've got some archers. Yeah, you guys can just chill. It's fine. There. Now we can see further. Garleon's not going to win in the top right. Make no mistake. But Mina's monks are pretty good, and together they'll pull through. Solid performance. Strategic move, one tile downwards. Can't argue with that. Yes, throw all your men at me. I was going to say I'll fail to kill them all, but suddenly we found a bit of talent out of nowhere. And it's gone again. Yep, definitely gone. Good news, Commander Sabra. We have killed one soldier. You fool. No one challenges the king directly. Seems you need reminding of the previous lesson. Now burn. So a lot of people able to just chuck fire around the place here. I don't have a clue how Top Right is ever going to kill this Grand Knight. If Carleon attacks first, he's dead. If Mina, uh, Mina attack, maybe. Soldiers are just going to get wiped without dealing any damage. I don't think monks are going to be able to do any damage. That's a hmm, that's a tricky fight. Why are there grand knights everywhere? I miss the days when we were going from fighters. It seems we've made this massive jump. We jumped from fighting fighters to fighting grand knights. That's a tier 1 jump to a tier 3. Also, what the hell are my horses doing? Go for the weaken. Good effort. 31 attack, 24 defense. Tyberon. If you fall here, we're going to have a serious issue. Who in their right mind would ever, ever doubt Tyberon? This guy is insane. Look at him. He had worse stats than his opponent, and he butchered him. I would never doubt him again. It's 
Cyprus Archer is going to prove their worth once and for all. We can beat one man if there's ten of us. Look. Just about. Okay, that's very nice, but can ten of you beat two archers? I don't know. Maybe twenty of us can. Never mind, ten's all it takes. Clearly been practicing in their downtime. Very nice. In this corner, we have a very useful spell that prevents Garrett from dying in one shot, but Garrett's not going to die. Sabra might. She is now immortal. Realistically, Grand Knight's going to go for some archers. And if he goes for Garrett, he's going to regret it, so I don't really need to defend Garrett here. But he's going to go for some archers, so it's fine. Right, what's going on over here? This team are going to take it nice and slow. They're not in a rush. Was that extra healing? I'm not sure. That feels like as much as it normally heals. Is the one doing anything? If it's only for offensive spells, we'll have to move that thing over to someone else. Uh, is anything going to go wrong in this top corner? Possibly. She might send some monks to their doom. Which is not what we want. Okay, well that fills me with promise. If archers can land a hit against a Grand Knight, which I guess makes sense because it is a mounted class, so it is weak to archers, then hopefully that means that monks, if I send 30 monks at it, can deal one point of damage. Okay, we have renewed hope. Carlyon is a very serious man if you look at his portrait. How are we going to do this? So seven hit points on the enemy can only deal eight damage to us, which means that Sabra cannot die from this. So we can open with her. And that's the end of this plan. Well, that went rather well. She's just going to take her time and treat herself back up. It's amazing to think that out of all these corners, the people that were finished first were Boyard and Tiberon. But there you go. Mina, the time has come. Let us see the capabilities of monks. Looks like, looks like it's going to be more than 30 monks. One point of damage is all I ask for. Carleon, I've got some bad news. One man with a dream. Dream shattered. It turns out that none of our forces are able to actually damage this opponent. In fact, I'm not going to attack because I want this guy to walk forwards to here. We're going to have to bite the bullet and actually attack with Carlion's 28 defense then. It should be fine, because I've given him... What did I give him? The shield? 
I think I gave him the best defensive item I have because he was a fighter originally and fighters have like 20 defense. Alright, you can stop shooting now, man. It's alright, it's over. Good effort. Oh, good grief, it's Lance! What a shock! Lance's final reinforcements as we attack the enemy's main castle, which means that Lance was somewhere else during this attack. Even though they don't have anywhere else left under their command. I don't know what Lance was doing. Maybe he fell asleep somewhere when he was on watch. Everybody run. The further we run in the building, the slower Lance will be. His horses are just as susceptible as ours. Plan is to run to the middle and then let uh, Sabra's archers take over, fighting off Lance. Can one group of monks kill nine men? Not exactly. That's a good turn, I'm happy with that. Just gotta make sure two specific archers get healed there. I'm gonna cut the video here and continue in the next one, because realistically I can't finish this mission in any short time because we're gonna be waiting for Lance for five minutes. But hopefully you'll join me for that. I've sold it really well, haven't I? Sounds exciting. Hopefully you'll join me for that. And I shall see you then.